In this video, we're going to learn how to use a counter. Counting is a common thing in programming. We need to keep track of how many times we do something. So some important details about counters. Number one, we use count in whole numbers. That means we will use something of type int. I'm going to simply call this count because that's an expressive variable term. The next important thing about a counter is you need to decide where it starts. So you need to give it an initial value. And often you want that value to be zero when you start. That when you start, before you've counted anything, your counter starts at zero. So it's important that you give it an initial value. This program simply gets scores. So what it's done is it says enter a score and then it's going to loop until the user enters a negative one for a score, it's just going to simply get one score after another. And let's go ahead and run it a few so it, we get a feel for what the program is doing. So enter a score, 87, 66, 53, 92, 87, 89, 75, 76, and then I simply enter a negative one and I can quit. All right, and then it, it's done and it says thank you, goodbye. Well now what we want to do is add a counter that it reports that keeps track of how many times or how many scores are entered. So here we give it an initial value and then we want to count. Now notice do we, we want to count, we're only going to give it an initial value once so that is outside of the loop, but we're going to count each time we get a score. So that's going to be inside the loop. So it's going to become part of the work. So instead of just reporting the score, I'm also going to count the score. All right. So here, the first time I come in, I get a score. I come inside, I report it, and now I want to count it. So what I want to do is increment count by one. And we have this cool operator, that increment operator that is simply a plus plus, that will increment the value of count, and it becomes part of the work. Then I get another score and go up and make sure it's not negative one. I go in, I do the work, I print it out, I count it, get another score, make sure it's not equal to one, print it out, count it, get another score. Now if they enter negative one, it tests this and it goes out. Notice that it doesn't count the negative one. It's real important when you organize a while loop that you get it in exactly the right order so that you um, get your counts right. If you've got it out of order, then your counts are going to be off by one. Remember the order? First you prime the loop. That happens before the loop starts. Then inside the loop you do the work. And then the last thing you do is get the next value to decide whether to keep going or not. All right, let's see if that count is working. Let's go ahead and print it out so we can see the value of count each time. All right, and we can watch this happen, and we can see what happens. So here we go. F1. Okay, so it asked me to enter a score, 87, 53, and there, the value of count is 2. Sure enough, we've, added, we've entered 87 and 53, so the count is 2. That's exactly what we want. Uh, 78, there's number 3, 89. Great, and then negative one, enter, and sure enough. Okay, now we didn't, we didn't get a report on count. Let's go ahead and the last thing outside of the loop, let's do a final, and this is really what you would put for the user. This C out here in the middle would be something that you would just, we did just for testing, C out, you entered, and here we'll tell them how many scores they entered, count, all right let's go ahead and run it again and see how we do enter a score 87 53 92 69 and then let's go ahead and enter negative one to quit and it said you entered four scores which is exactly right 87 53 92 69 Notice it does not count the sentinel value or the value that we use to signal a stop. This is important that you're not off by one. So what are the important things with a counter? 
Make sure it's of type int. Give it an initial value. And then every time you want to count, simply increment that value. And as a final warning, if your count is off by one, it usually means you haven't organized your while loop quite right. In that case, go back and review the video on creating a while loop.